So let's see how to work with symbol libraries and with symbols within ePlan. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to just create a project just for this topic. Okay, so it is important to work with symbols, similar libraries when you open any kind of project. Let me show you that. So when you close this project, so we don't have any projects opened, when you go to utilities, master data, symbol library, there's nothing much you can do. Also for the symbol, the same thing. Now, when we open our project, let's see the effect symbol library. Now you have all the various options available. And the same goes for the symbol. Of course, we first have to either create or open a symbol to be able to copy, delete, create a new variant, import, export, and so on. So the first thing, let's just create a new symbol in the existing symbol library. So utilities, once again, master data, symbol, and new. So as you already see over here, you have various symbol libraries available within your ePlan platform. Not all of them are available to you. I also have some additional depending on the ePlan module you have. So if you have a PNID module or for creating instrumentation loops, in most cases, you have IC, POST, GB, graphics, and that's about it. Now let's go to our IEC multi-line symbol library, the one we mostly use if you work with IEC standard. Let's click open, and this is where we start to create our symbol. So. You can choose between different variants. Let's start with variant A. Symbol number. This is the automatic number ePlan gives you. So the first available number within the symbol library in this one, IEC. Connection points. You can either choose how many selection points you'll have and input over here, let's say three. Or you can use a function definition and it will be automatically assigned a number of connections depending on the device you used as a function definition. So let's use a function definition in our case. Let's set it to zero once again, then go to function definition. And for this example, let's say we want to create a valve with a three connection points with PE. So a plus, a minus, and a PE connection. Let's click OK, and this is, a, this is now grayed out, so if you choose a function definition, you automatically get the connection point number and the logic, and there is 
as mentioned, it is grayed out, so you don't have any more this option to input manually no number of connections. Symbol name. Let's say wall. Plus PE. Representation type, you can choose whether it's going to be multi-line or any other representation. We'll stick to the multi-line and that's about it. You have to input for the creation of new symbol. Let's click OK. Everything you have at this moment, so no graphics, just this little red circle. Now, there are also two variants when you want to create graphics for a symbol. The first one, and the, probably the best one, is to use an existing symbol as a template for your new symbol. Let's insert as an example. Since you want to create a wall, let's go to walls and see which one we could use. Let's say like, not this one, once again, symbol. Let's say something like this, this variant. E, OK, so you have the insertion point and place it in the middle of the circle. Since this is an existing symbol, you already get all the default properties, the graphics, the connection points, in this case, and so on. I also recommend when you create a new symbol with totally new graphics, you insert an existing symbol and use all of these fields just to keep it as standardized as possible. So the device tag, cross-reference, technical characteristics, function text, and so on. You can, of course, as you already know, you can adjust those fields, those properties later on when you insert this symbol in a circuit diagram in a page in plan project. So if you don't want to use some of these properties, then you would set them to invisible or, or you would just remove them from your display of the symbol in the circuit diagram. Now, as already mentioned, this is a complete symbol. We use an existing one. And now, for example, we could just expand the graphics to represent a ground connection for this. Well, let's use another symbol from the special functions in electrical engineering. Something like this. Let's use this one once again and place it somewhere over here. Connection point. Now to make it neat, let's put it in the same Hide and also adjust these graphics over here a little bit. So, as we imported the symbol, it got the next number of connections. So, we had one and two, and now the three.
So this is the most convenient way to create a new symbol. You use an existing one, use the graphics and the connection points and everything, all the properties, and you're pretty much done with your symbol. Now we could also check our symbol. So Eplan says the symbol is okay. Now let's see about the connection points. So the, the graphical part of the story, as said, is pretty much straightforward. These are the lines, the graphical elements you can use to represent your symbol. As said, the best option is to use, use an existing one. Absolutely the best. But if you still want to use custom graphics, create your own from scratch, then you have the graphical elements over here. Now for the connection points, so insert, connection point top, bottom, left, right. You can also click on tab on the keyboard and rotate the connection point. Let's say we put it over here somewhere, it doesn't matter, connection point Automatic, automatically numbered, direction, the display, OK. That's it for the connection points. And as mentioned, the properties, you just insert an existing symbol and use the properties. I recommend to do, leave it like this to keep it as standardized as possible. Now let's insert another symbol to see more common one, for example, a circle breaker. With a reference line. OK. This is what I wanted to show you. So the properties are pretty much the same. All the formatting and the order from the device tag, cross-reference and so on. Now let's go back, undo and close this symbol. So now ePlan tells us the number of connection points is invalid compared to the function definition. Number of connection points are currently placed four and we, according to the function definition, we have three. Let's just then open this symbol once again. and delete the fourth connection. If you would leave, for example, and go to check symbol, this is what ePlan would tell us, the same thing when you check your symbol. Now let's delete this one and close it. So we want to synchronize the symbol library, so the new symbol we created with this project we have opened, the symbol lectures project, and we want to synchronize.